Kelsey again. Same location, same shirt. Guess what? They're filmed on the same day. I'm not very creative and I didn't feel like changing shirts to try to fool you. So you're getting the same place and same thing again. But I have multiple videos to film today because I want to tell you about some books. This video is going to be my July TBR because I never uploaded that. So here we go. Can't forget you, baby. Alrighty, Spaghetti. So the first book I want, whoa. So the first book I want to read this month is one that I'm already in the middle of, like literally in the middle. It's called Devil's Wake, a novel. This is written by Stephen Barnes and Tenery Du. I tried to find the pronunciation of this name and that's the best I got. So I hope it's right. <laughs> um, this is a black written story. I think both of the authors are black people. And it sounded really cool. I found a used copy at the library sale, but I want to buy a new copy just because it's in worse condition than I thought it would be. So I will be purchasing a brand new copy from Books A Million because I still have a membership with them, even though they closed down in my town. <laughs> Y'all, I'm broken. My only bookstore closed. So now I'm going to have to drive an hour and a half to go buy books physically. Like, I'm going to have to shop online now. So if you know ways to help indie bookstores, Link them, please, or tell me where to go because I want to support indie bookstores the best I can. I'm literally getting them shipped anyway. I might as well help out a small business. A small black-owned business would even be great. Anything. I just want to help people out the best I can with my book buying, and this is not in the condition I was told it was in. I would like a better copy, but it is a used library book. It says on the front, an infection is spreading with lightning speed, tearing apart families, destroying civilization as we understand it, and it has a picture of this young girl, which I already know who she is in the story. It says zombie lovers won't be able to put down Barnes gripping yarn which will leave them hungry for the next installment. And this is a quote by Book List. Relative to what's going on in the United States right now, if you know what I'm talking about. So it was a little weird reading the beginning of this, but I'm gonna read you the back of it. It says, what happens when an unprecedented infection sweeps the world, leaving the earth on the brink of the apocalypse? But this infection goes far beyond disease, beyond even the nightmare images of walking dead or flesh-eating ghouls. The infected are turning into creatures unlike anything ever dreamed of. More complex, more mysterious, and more deadly. Trapped in the northwestern United States as winter begins to fall, Terry and Kendra have only one choice. They and their friends must cross a thousand miles of no man's land in a rickety school bus, battling ravenous hordes, human raiders, and their own fears. In the midst of the apocalypse, they find something no one could have anticipated. Love. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. It is super fast-paced, and, like, I appreciate that. I don't like when books take 90% of the book to get to the zombie part, but I'm way into this, so I'm very excited to see where it goes. I've heard it's a series, so if I really like it, I might buy the, get the next book, too. It's originally $15, which is not bad for this book, but I do want to read it. I'm enjoying it so far, and I can't wait to finish it. The next thing I want to read is the XXX Holic Omnibus, Volume 1. This is a book that I, I think I watched a couple of episodes of this show a long, long time ago, like when I was in community college. That was a long time ago, y'all. And I don't remember much about it other than it's about this character, Watanuki, who I think he sees things like dead people or spirits. And then there's a space-time witch named Yuko, and this contains volumes one through three of the manga. And so I thought that it would be easier for me to read it this way instead of trying to find all of the single volumes. Either way, it didn't matter, but they were on sale on Right Stuff, and I got it. I just want to read more Clamp. I love Clamp, and they do some really interesting work within their own universes where they put, you know, the same characters within every story, but maybe they're just a little different, or their names changed, or their designs just a little different. And I know Chi from Chobits is in this because I literally just flipped and saw her. And there are other characters from like Subasa Chronicles that come into this world. I think they kind of cross into each other at some point, which I want to read that one as well if I can find omnibuses of that because it's ridiculously long. I'm going to read this. I'm very excited about it. It is the only manga I have right now that I have not read, so I'm kind of waiting for another order from Right Stuff to get here. Hopefully soon. The next book I want to read is the third in the trilogy, Night of the Dragon by Julie Kagawa. This is, or Kagawa, The Shadow of the Fox novel. Um, you guys know I stand this series. Now granted, I have not read a lot of fantasy, so maybe when I've been more well-read, I won't think this is so amazing. But right now, it is everything to me, 
and I love this series so much. If you have not read it and you like YA fantasy and you like LGBTQ stories, if you like Inuyasha mixed with Dragon Ball Z stories, go get Shadow of the Fox, um, Soul of the Sword, and then Night of the Dragon. They are so good. I cannot wait to read this one. It's the final. I'm going to find out what happens and see where everyone goes. If it's a happy ending or like a meh ending. Um, this one is the shorter of the three. So I think I'll get through this pretty quickly once I finally start it. Hopefully I get to it this month. Um, it even has some like really cool like raised areas on the cover. I love a fancy cover. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to get to this one. I hope it's good. The next book I hope to get to this month is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Please forgive my crazy... I'm just energetic today. I think it's I'm just excited to make a video because it's been so long. So yes, that that's why I'm here. Um, this is a novel. I think it's about witches. I, I really don't know too much about it. I just remember hearing multiple booktubers. I can't even remember their names. I gotta start writing stuff down, y'all. I have the worst memory. But I remember hearing multiple booktubers talk about this book and how good it was. And I found a copy on my Books A Million thing that was cheaper for some reason. I can't remember why. Maybe it's because it's paper bag. I don't know. But it was cheaper than what I normally would see of this book. Ooh, I even have a bookmark in here. But um, I want to read it. It's about witches and it seems kind of cool and like really good with atmospheres what I've been told and um, look at that cover like it's one of my favorite covers and spines that I've seen this year so I need to review this one I want to read that the next book I want to try to get to now I'm giving you a lot of books and there's no way I'm gonna read all of these but this is just like a good list of ones that I'm picking from because I know I've wanted to read them. So is Supermarket by Bobby Hall. Now, I remember hearing a lot of hype for this book when it was first like announced and like people were anticipating it and there was a lot of hype. And I bought it at their store for like a dollar. And I was like, huh, that's, that's weird. Cause sometimes, you know, I don't find good books there very often. Sometimes I do. But I was like, okay, well I'll look at the reviews after I bought it and people hated this book. Like it has really bad reviews. And I'm just like, okay, uh, but I still really want to read it. Like, what if it's like my favorite book? You know, you, you never know. We'll see. I might do a reading vlog of it just to see the reaction because I like to know if I'm on this side or that side of the book, like the majority or the minority of it. So I really like the cover. I mean, it's very interesting. So it doesn't seem too long either. It's like 200 and something pages, not even 300 pages. So I want to check this one out eventually, and I can't wait. The next book I hope to check out is one that everyone and their mama and their daddy and their sisters and their uncles and their dog loves. Like, I have not heard a single person hate on this. So if I hate it, I am scared. The world is going to come for me, and they're going to end me, and I will be dead, and that will be life. But it is Every Heart of Doorway by Seanan McGuire. This is a novella, I think. Yeah, it's very short, less than 200 pages, and it's supposedly, from what everyone feeds it to me as, is a murder mystery, first of all, and it's a story that is magical about these kids who find themselves, you know, like Alice in Wonderland or Peter Pan, they find themselves whisked into another world, like a magical fairy tale world, or Narnia, you know, stuff like that, and they, the world sees them as having like a mental illness or something. Um, something like that or like they're they're making it up or something like liars or just hoodlums or something and so they get taken to this home for wayward kids who've had the same experience and so the person there helps them come to terms with or they ask them where did you go because they also went somewhere so it's kind of like a magical you know doorway kind of thing also murder mystery so I'm very interested in that and it's like a really long series of like short novellas so it sounds like something I could easily go through if I like it. So I hope that I do. It won a Hugo and Nebula Award. So that's pretty cool. New York Times bestseller. I have no idea. It was like $18 for this little book though. So be prepared for that if you're wanting to buy it yourself. It is kind of expensive for how short it is. But it's hardcover. So it'll last forever. And the last book on my list is from my Fear Street collection. I hope to get to one of these at least every month. Sometimes it doesn't happen. You do what you can, you know? But this is Fear Street R.L. Stein Dream Date or Nightmare. The perfect date. It's in great condition. It has like an old sticker on the back, but it was $3.99 originally when you bought these brand new back in the day. But I got it at their store for like 25 cents. And on the back, it says, these are teen 
like Goosebumps, but for teens, horror novels. So just be prepared for that when you go into these. I love them personally. They hold a lot of nostalgia for me, but I love them. It says, perfect, perfectly evil. Brady Carlin is getting on with his life. The memory of his girlfriend, killed in a gruesome sledding accident last year, is beginning to fade. Now he's met Rosha Nelson, the girl of his dreams, and he's never been happier. Until Brady starts to see a strange figure with a terribly scarred face following him everywhere. Until the horrible accidents start happening every time Rosha's around. Has dating Rosha made Brady's dreams come true? Or brought his worst nightmares back to life? I feel like I already know how that's going to end based on that synopsis. <laughs> But we'll see. You know, I, I'll review it for you when it happens, and we'll find out together. It'll be a fun time. We'll do things. We'll talk. We'll make jokes. We'll make memories. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you for putting up with my crazy shenanigans today. I don't know. I'm just really, really hyper, and I'm having a good day, and it's my first weekend off for, like, months. So, I'm just really happy. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Be safe. You know, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Smile, be happy, cry if you're sad, talk to your therapist, take your medication, whatever you got to do to be you and be happy and be safe. So, bye guys.